With over 25 years experience in networking and leadership, this man is an expert in how to carry your business forward through strategy, planning, and execution. Some of us got the opportunity to enjoy a highly appreciated talk by him in Dubai, but today we have the pleasure to bring him to stage for all of you. Thank you for having me. It's been just four months ago since I was at the first event of Crowd One. I clearly remember the phenomenal stage of La Pearl in Dubai, and I remember saying, I don't think you understand what you have already built. Now, four months down the road, I still have that feeling, but what I see and what I understand by now is the movements of the company and where the company is going. Mike Tyson said, everybody has a plan until they get punched in the face. Now, that's certainly true in boxing, just like it's true in life, just like it is true in business. Too often, we start out with an idea of how things are supposed to be. And then life happens and we lose what Johan so correctly said, perspective. We lose the big picture. We get caught up in the noise. We get caught up in the distractions and we forget our way. In business, you have to have perspective. What I'm hoping to do is give you an idea of the perspective of Crowd1, its potential, its dynamics, and why the future of Crowd1 looks better than ever before. Let's step into it and see what we can do here. First thing we need to understand is any market, any product comes with a plan, comes with a strategy. Now, this is a very general method, but just try and humor me and try and see if you can identify with this process. So at first, we're going to see that you might have a raw material. It could be as simple a thing as a potato. To add value to that, you turn the raw material into hours. a product. Now, once you maybe have turned a potato into a potato chip, you have an added value. It is more valuable to the marketplace. But that's not where the journey stops. The next level that you need to add is something called service, which simply means you need to be able to provide your product to the customer where the customer is and where the customer prefers to enjoy your product. But that doesn't conclude it because you can actually add something more to it called an experience. Now let's stay with the potato chip that used to be just a potato turned into a potato chip. Now maybe it was packaged very smart. How do we turn that into an experience? We turn it into an experience because we get it served at a very special place. And what used to be just a potato now turns into something very special because it's a combination of everything. Once we've created an experience, you are going to see the highest form of marketing. That's when a customer, that's when a client of yours goes from being just a customer, just a client, into becoming a fan or an ambassador of your product and your brand. Not because we're paying them to, but simply because they had an experience with your product that they want to share with people. This is the goal of any marketing campaign out there. Why? Because it is the most trustworthy. It is the most efficient form of marketing. But it does come with a few challenges. Now, if we look at the next slide here, we're talking about the power of the crowd. The power of the crowd is not just the theme for this event. The power of the crowd is something that every one of you, no matter where you are, no matter where you're watching from right now, need to really appreciate and understand. And what you need to understand is that the power of the crowd is the power of you. Now, some of you might sit out there and say, well, I don't feel particularly powerful. I'm here to tell you you're wrong. You are very powerful. You are powerful when you drive your car. You are powerful when you talk to people. You are powerful in every interaction you have. 
you are even powerful when you're at sleep. Let me try to explain that. Whenever any one of us wants to buy anything at all, we have certain things that we think about. When we go to the store, when we go to the mall, we want to buy maybe some shoes, maybe we want to buy a car. Now, of course, we look at the price to see whether we can afford it or not. And of course, we look at the quality to see, is this, you know, does it have a certain balance? But that part of the buying process is the easy part. That's the part between you and your purse. The much more important, much more powerful part comes to when you are starting to think about other people. So I'm in the store. I want to buy these shoes. And what I think about now when I have concluded I can afford the shoes, I'll start thinking about what will my friends say about me wearing those shoes. That decision, that discussion will weigh way more into my decision to buy than whether I can afford it or not. We are going to think about people we like. How are they going to think about my purchase? But you know, we also think about people we don't like. How would they think if I buy these shoes? You know, you might think the shoes are nice, but can you wear them? The fact is, it doesn't matter where you are. It does not matter who you are. You are at all times influencing your area of influence. I like to call this your social capital. Your social capital, in other words, are the people who reflect their decision based on their relationship to you. Now, in crowd one, it's not just you. You have the opportunity to talk to other people. And in talking to other people, what you are really doing, you are taking their social capital and you're setting it free. You're setting it free for them to use as they please with a global concept. Now, the genius of such a plan is this. When you want to grow really, really big, when you want to expand your business, you want to do that on a massive scale. But the reality is the area of influence that we have is really small within that, which we I'd like to refer to as micro-influencing. But once you build a network of micro-influencing, you will understand the dynamics of Crowd1 and why it is so strong. Crowd1 never has to leave the area of micro-influence, and therefore, it is so strong. Now, that simply means that with every business, you're going to see a life circle. A life circle, what is that? Well, it is this curve that's illustrated right here, and it divides into four different areas. The number one is the pioneer. The pioneer stage is when everything is new. Some people like to refer to this as the intro phase. When something is new, it's, it means it's not tried out yet. Some of you might remember the first mobile phones. You know, they were very big. They were very expensive, but they had very, very bad reception. Why would anyone want to buy them? And by the way, they were 10 times more expensive than they are today. They were in a pioneer stage when they were just learning from their mistakes. They were developing at all time. Now, we all know that the consequence since has, got mean that, has meant that the market has been growing and growing. But the reality is not every company has made it from one to another. The next phase you're going to see is the trend phase. The trend phase is when companies are beginning to be copied. It is when companies are beginning to be mentioned in the press. It is when more and more people are looking in to see what is this new thing. In other words, you went from introducing something to really making the market aware of where you are. The third phase is what we refer to as the mass market or the momentum phase, if you please. The mass market is when you get a mass adoption to something. Mass market is where everything is growing extremely fast. And when it seems there's no end in sight, decline is kicking in. 
no one single company, no one single product will ever just go up, 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 up. There will be a requirement in the market to have a renewal. There will be a requirement in the market that the company is updated to the latest standards. You are going to see more competition in a mass market than you will in the trend phase. You will therefore see more qualified products and services. Now, when we look at crowd one, as something called timing, and too many people looking at crowd one realizing, well, 40 million people have already joined. That means that my timing must be gone. We got to do something different. But the reality is that's not understanding the full concept of crowd one. See, with crowd one, you're basically in a launch mode. You are in a growth phase all of the time. When we talk about crowd one, it all started with life trends. Life trends, which is in itself an independent company with an independent board, with an independent marketing app, uh, department and all of its ambitions. Mixta came along and with Mixta came a new opportunity. So you got the same crowd, but you got a new opportunity. And with this innovative way of launching, not just products, but really launching businesses into the market, Crowd1 proved that Life Trends was not the only one. Mixta became even bigger. And when you look at the next step, you're looking at Planet IX. And the brilliance of this is simply this. All of the experience from Life Trends, all of the experience from Mixta turned into the project of Planet IX. And I was so privileged just three weeks ago being in Dubai with some of the top leaders from around the world. And we were there not alone. We were in the new amazing offices and we were joined by founders of each of these companies and they could share their individual stories and we could bear witness that these companies individually has gone into the multi-million euro businesses that they are today in absolutely record-breaking time. Think about Planet IX. Planet IX has just, you know, barely three months on the market, really, and already now beating all of the records that are out there. We're seeing a constant growth. This is not just the growth of Planet IX. It's the growth of the company that you are launching. It's the growth of the company that you are influencing people with on a daily basis. Why are you so effective at it? Because you are a member of Planet IX. You are actually just talking about the things that you are already doing, making your social capital ever more valuable to businesses and business opportunities. Now, you can just imagine what will happen and what will be the next project. But here's what I can tell you. If you are able to bring proof of concept, if you're able to validate a business, people will see it. Businesses will understand and they will start qualifying to be launched via your business. Just think about that. You started out, you shared your excitement, you build a global network. For some of you, it might still be local, but the nature of the digital age means that you cannot even keep it local. It will sooner or later go global. You have businesses that right now are qualifying themselves to be launched via your business. Think about the dynamics of that when you think about your business. Think about that when you think about the value of the business you've built today. Now, Life Trends has not stopped growing, neither has Mixta, neither has Planet IX. All of these companies will individually continue to grow and you get to participate in that growth. You get to participate in the launch of those companies, which means you're going to have perfect timing every time when you contact somebody. You have developed full proof of concept and with full proof of concept, with a strong market position, it simply means that right now, the likelihood of success for crowd one is a multitude higher than at the time when Jonas first excited the first people for his vision 
of the future. Now I can tell you, Jonas is just getting started. His vision is just about to start, and I am truly excited to be joining you on that journey. Thank you. Hello, everyone. I am Fab Lee Fisher, and I have the great opportunity to sit here with Jonas Eric Werner, who will give us some insights on Crowd One and the future of the business. Welcome, Jonas. Thank you very much, Fab. Uh, my pleasure. So, uh, how are we feeling today? Oh, it's a, it's a, actually a really great day. I mean, uh, uh, the event is 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 going really fantastic, and we have a lot of news. Uh, a lot of updates, uh, new product services, and and I know that this will help millions and millions of people to actually uh, have a better opportunity and, and, and build a global business. So it's a great day. Indeed. It's always <laughs> wonderful to help millions of people. Indeed. Yeah, yeah it's, it's probably the, the best feeling you can have. I mean, um, especially now when, when the world has been in, in a very special uh, specific situation mm. and, and more than ever a, a business opportunity like this have been uh, important for people to 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 help both themselves and families and friends so so yeah it's great indeed. Indeed. privilege now, and privilege right? indeed now crowd one has been has a remarkable growth journey um i think if i'm not mistaken you have the fastest growing company internet company, online company to date. Yeah. Now, I still, it's hard for me to grasp, grasp this, but you've gone from zero to 40 million members and growing. All right, so I need you to do me a favor. I need you to close your eyes, walk into your mm -hmm. mental kitchen. Please pull out the drawer and take out a few ingredients. And please tell me what is the formula to your success? What is the formula? First of all, uh, there is, of course, several things, but but first of all, uh, we wanted to create. I mean, we're coming from the network industry, uh, but we wanted to make that industry much easier mm. and more available to people, uh, and uh, and use the tech technology of today. Uh, you don't need a lot of information from before, a lot of knowledge from before in Crowd1. We are the first company to give people a network business opportunity, influence market opportunity, crowd marketing opportunity. Mm -hmm. uh, you, the only thing you need is your mobile. Mm -hmm. And with the very, very little background information, you can actually start building your business. And uh, today it doesn't matter where you come from. This business is not for, for only, only a couple of countries, it's for most people on the globe. Uh, so this is, of course, important ingredients. But also, of course, that you listen. I think that's important to listen to the world, listen to the people. I mean, the world is very different from different parts. You need to listen uh, and, and, and to try to, to make the business uh, as local as you can. And at the same time, we can't forget about the great people in the company. I, I have the, the, the opportunity to work with, with some of the best in the industry and, and, uh, and uh, that has been a, a great journey. I, I think we wouldn't be here today without the hundreds of, of, of people working 24 seven to, to really provide the business. And the last and uh, maybe the most important thing is the leadership. 